This is my complete review and tutorial walkthrough for lowfruits.io, the up and coming SEO tool for keyword research and rankings and yes. And not only am I gonna go through the basics of how to use lowfruits to find great keyword opportunities, but I also have some hacks and tips and tricks, which I'm gonna share later in the video, which they don't even really advertise. So stay tuned. It's gonna be awesome. First up, what is Low Fruits. Low Fruits is an SEO tool that does two things really, really well. Helps you find keyword ideas very quickly, mostly long tail, lower search volume ideas, and helps you analyze search results. Google SERP to find opportunities, to find gaps, uh, weak spots, low hanging fruit for ranking opportunities, hence the name. So who is that for? It's not an Ahrefs or an SEM rush or an end to end. It can do site audits and, and competitor research and all this other stuff. It's not that. It's mostly for newer bloggers into SEO in the first couple of years maybe, as well as like niche site creators and stuff like this. It's mostly targeting lower volume, long tail stuff, but there are a few other features in here, again, like rank tracking and competitor analysis that they don't really advertise, but you can actually use it for, which I'm actually really excited to show you in the video. So last thing before we get to the tutorial, price. Uh, this is another thing I love. You can actually see a lot of keyword results, like when you're looking for keywords for free, you can get started for free. But in order to analyze search results for the keywords, you'll have to spend credits. I love the way credit systems work. There's no monthly fee. Actually, you can pay for credits each month if you do a ton of stuff. I personally would never do this. I just buy them in bulk. I spent, um, they were on sale a couple of months ago. I got like 10,000 credits for like 80, 90 bucks. And I've only used like a couple of hundred at this point. This will last you a really long time. All right, and I'm set. Let's actually move into the tutorial with a real example. First, a 15 second tour, because there's actually not a lot here. There are four things. Number one, the keyword finder, where it's gonna help you generate keyword ideas. You can also import your own keywords from another tool, or you can like copy and paste them in if you want. And really lists, which is where you can actually favorite your keywords and create multiple lists for different projects or different topics or whatever, it's pretty handy. You can access all your old reports here and you can plug in your website. I'll show you why this is actually really useful in a little while. Uh, let's say I was starting a new blog on cats. First up, the keyword finder. Now you can click this button right here to learn about wild cards and putting in multiple seed keywords to kick off your keyword search. I have found that this is completely not needed in a good way. I mean, yeah, you can get more specific if you want, but you can also just start with cats. Like literally that's all, cats. I'm gonna do the United States in English. You can also put in like your max domain authority that you want to check, domains to highlight. If you have any competitor sites or anything like that, you can put that in. I'm not gonna do that right now and negative keywords. Uh, you don't wanna search for keywords that contain Reddit or Quora or forum or near me, that sort of stuff. And I'm just gonna hit find keywords. This is gonna take a minute, and while it does, I would like to explain what this does. It's gonna show me keywords, lots and lots of keywords. It's gonna help me filter the keywords, best of cat, cat, cat stuff, best of cat, cat, cat stuff, or how to cat stuff, are cats, blah, blah, blah. It's gonna help me filter the keywords, and then I can analyze each keyword individually or in bulk to show me Google search results. Now, once it does that, it's not gonna show me all of the search results, it, it can. It's gonna show me the weak spots. It's gonna show me forum post, Reddit, Quora, and low DA sites. By the way, DA stands for Domain Authority. This is what Moz calls their, like, how big is this site? Domain Authority. Massive sites that you would never compete with are ranked higher in DA and low brand new sites that I just started yesterday would be a DA zero, right? It's one to a hundred. It's gonna show me the low DA sites, forum post, Quora and Reddit and search results to help me find low hanging fruit, weak spots in SERP. So 2,500 keywords found, I could analyze them all. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I don't wanna analyze all of them. I'm just going to access the keywords. So here we have it. Here are my 2,500 keywords. They did a lot. 
Are cats the same as jaguars, the same as lions? R, 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 R. Now, here is one of my favorite things about low fruits. This bar, this bar is about to expand, by the way. Once we start analyzing some keywords, there's gonna be a lot more options right here. I'll show you that in a second, but just keep an eye right here. You can filter by intent, by status. You can include words that you wanna search for, like lion, and show all the cat and lion stuff. You could exclude uh, any keywords. Maybe we'll go through that in a second. Number of words, you can actually analyze that too, yada, yada. Let's choose a few of these to analyze, just to show you how it works. Are cats and ferrets related? Cats and foxes, cats and lions. I'm just gonna select a few of these here. Are cats bad pets? <laughs> Are cats lactose? Are cats good starter pets? You can see what I'm doing. I'm just gonna grab like a couple of them here and I'm actually going to analyze them in bulk. This will take a minute or two. I found it actually does take uh, maybe like 90 seconds, two minutes-ish to pull these. So I'll edit this part out and we'll come back when it's done. And we're back. Actually, it only took like 15 seconds after I paused the video, but here we go. So all my other keywords that I searched are down here. Here are the ones that we've analyzed. Let's take a look at these. Here's the keyword. You can actually copy that right from here. If you wanna like put it elsewhere, you can actually open up this search query to see it in SERP. You can view the SERP right here in Low Fruits. This is amazing by the way, and we'll get to this in just a second. Or if I can go back, it's showing me the top 10 results-ish right here. And it's not showing me all of them. It's showing me positions two, three, four, and nine actually have weak spots. Position number two is a DA15 site, kittysensations.com. And you can actually click to open up this post. Uh, rank three is actually petsbite.com. It's a DA19 site. Rank four is Cora. Rank nine is a DA12, undercoverpethouses.com. So if I'm looking at this, I see volume of 210. I see four quote unquote weak spots in search results, I would probably target this keyword if I were starting a cat's niche site. Some of these other ones too. Are cats and ferrets related? Rank one is a DA18 blog. That's pretty opportunistic, wouldn't you say? There's also rank four and rank five are uh, these like DA17 sites. And some of these other keywords, there's Quora and Reddit on this one. Rank 10 is actually a DA1 site, answers dash to all dash dot com. This is like an AI site, it looks like. Yeah, this looks absolutely terrible. So I could totally write about this. Are cats and foxes, I'm seeing lots of opportunities here, but that's not all. This is the overall point, by the way, to find these keywords and show you how competitive they are. But there's a few other tricks we have up our sleeve. First and foremost, you could add them to your list. You can star them right here. You can create a new list, add them to other stuff. You can hide the keywords if you want to. Let's actually go down here and take a look at this. Related. So what did Low Fruits do here? It actually brought in more keyword ideas. Once I started, once I started analyzing these, it pulled in related keywords. It keeps adding to our list. It keeps getting smarter based on the keywords we're choosing to analyze, which I really, really love. Also, People also ask, are cats and lions the same? I'm gonna like analyze that one right there, just for fun. Now, let's go through the filters because I think this is one of the most powerful parts, period, of low fruits. It's amazing. First of all, you can also analyze word counts. I forgot to mention that. Um, right here, featured snippet actually. Where's my word count button? Oh, here we go. This, this, this column right here, you can extract the word counts, 1017. It'll take a minute to pull that, but it'll extract word counts. Okay, sorry, back to my point. Filter, a few things that you can do here. Intent, comparison, this is gonna use keywords like difference or versus compared to. I'm gonna toggle that on and you can see, are cats better than dogs? This versus this. Brave something versus revolution for cats. Maybe that's a brand, I don't even know. Da cats compared to dogs, all this other stuff. You can do pre-purchase such as like best of review sort of stuff. Best, okay, this is actually pulling cars. This is a great example. I'm not into cars, I'm into cats. So what I can do is go up to exclude words right here and I'm gonna add cars and then I'm gonna hit apply and it'll refresh my entire keyword list. It says recalculating up here 
And now, no more of that car stuff, right? I'm not into cars. I don't know why it even pulled that in. So I just exclude the word, and now I'm good to go. Again, this is the best of content, pre-purchase, discounts, reviews, buys, that sort of stuff. High intent. I can't even remember what that is. This is stuff like best review for free. Okay, more monetization, affiliate marketing content, that sort of stuff. All right. You could also do post-purchase, like informational, problem, warranty, broken, clean, like info content. Can you replace cats? Can a cat survive with two broken legs? All that are all this other stuff. I'm actually going to choose some of these right here. Clean cat's ears, clean cat's chin. There's a bunch of stuff that we could do. I'm going to extract the search information with these. It's going to pull them to the top of my list, by the way. I like that, by the way. I wouldn't want to scroll down to like see all this stuff. I like that it just groups it right up here at the top. Now, let's keep going. You can export these. Just download a simple Excel file with all this stuff. You could also do more filtering. I'm not going to go into all these now that I mention it. You could do average words, minimum, maximum. You could only look at your site, which we're going to get to in just a second. You could filter by volume, keyword volume in here. That's This is all pretty normal and pretty self-explanatory, so I'm not going to go through all of it. You could only look at people also ask content. Um, UGCs, by the way, you can actually hover over this user-generated content websites, um, like forums, Reddit, Quora, that sort of stuff. You can look for, just show me all of the keywords that have Reddit, Quora, or forums in the top three results. That's what this filter would do. I'm actually just gonna wait a second for these uh, keywords to analyze right here, but then we can actually take a look at that. Okay, so some of these, it said no weak spots found. Clean cat's ears. Looks like it's pretty competitive. There's no weak spots on the first page of Google. Some of these, however, can you wash cats with Dawn? Rank two, 18, rank five, Cora, right? So actually, I'm just gonna click on this right here. Oh, there's a little bit. Basically, it's finding me anything with Cora or forum post in the first couple of rankings. Let me undo that. You can also just look for affiliate sites. They kind of categorize the websites that show up here. You can see uh, affiliate right here, DA18, this looks like an affiliate website. And maybe they have, this looks like an e-commerce shop. You can see it's outlined in yellow. This looks like an e-commerce shop. And you can filter with that right here too. If I clicked on that, it should show uh, the ones that have a e-com thing in there. Okay, top three weak websites. This is only showing me keywords in the uh, with the weak top threes. I was wondering why it's not showing me a lot. It's because I had this filter on. Let's do this again. Top three weak websites. Okay, so these keywords right here, it looks like a pretty decent amount of opportunity here. A DA18 is rank one in Google. Rank two in Google, DA18, DA15. You can see the point of all this. Last thing on this screen, uh, before we go on to hacking <laughs> some of these tools, you can also use these filters up here. Even It's even broader, right? Suggestions, this is kind of what Low Fruits is looking into Google and giving you suggested keyword ideas. Questions specifically, obviously these are gonna be question posts, info posts. And uh, people also ask competition. Oh, that's interesting. It's just pulling you all the sites. I never even looked at this before. This is actually pretty cool. It looks like this is a Mediavine site, kittyclism.com, some more Mediavine, some more Ezoic sites. This is trying to give me a bunch of like competitor analysis ideas. And it's showing me their DAs right here as well. Obviously, some of these, Purina, DA61, WebMD, Pets93, but it's also have some lower ones like DA31, PetsOverload.com. This looks like a niche site competitor that I could go in here and see what they're doing, analyze their content, analyze their keywords, et cetera, et cetera. So that's what that tab does, competition. But you can do more filters right here. You can add and create your own that you save, which I actually think is really handy if you do the same filters over and over again. And also these yellow ones right here, uh, litter. Let's just click that. It's showing me only the ones that have the word litter in them. Pretty handy, right? I think this is an amazingly well done keyword research tool. I really do. Okay, so rank tracking basically just means targeting your website that you have and tracking where you are at in search results. Rank, tracking your rankings, duh. Okay, they don't promote this, but you can do this. And let me show you how I would set this up. In fact, I've already set it up for doyouevenblog.com. 
first thing you would do is add your website. And tips and tricks right here, you can actually add competitor websites if you wanted to. I'm gonna add, I don't know, smartpassiveincome.com add. You can add multiple competitors. If you wanna see them instantly, where they're at in search and track their rankings, you could do that. It's kind of weird, but you could do that. Anyways, you don't have to confirm anything. You just put it in here. Next up, import. I would go, or you could, you know, search for the keywords in Keyword Finder, but I would honestly just do this. You can import these from another keyword tool, or you can copy and paste. I'm gonna do like smarter Q. I know I'm ranking for this, which is the only reason I'm showing you this. Smarter Q review, smarter Q tutorial, et cetera, et cetera. You can keep going and going. You could name your report, it doesn't matter. And then you hit import. That's all you need to do. And I'm gonna, I've already done this, so let me show you that report. Smarter Q. There we go. It gave me a lot of ideas, um, and I went ahead and analyzed these right here. Once you have your report come through, you can analyze as many as you want, smarter Q pricing. Let's analyze that one as well. And you can see now that I plugged in my website, this little yellow circle, this position column is the position of your websites or your competitors' websites, if you put those in there, in search. So you can see I'm ranked three for smarter Q review, and I'm ranked nine for this one or tutorial, whatever that is. It looks like I'm ranked 28 for smarter Q pricing, which is really interesting. Now you can actually create a list. I already created one. I went uh, create right here, DYEB tracker. You can also import straight from here, which is actually pretty cool. And I've already saved these two to this list and you can just refer back to this as needed. You can save it in the reports, by the way. If I go back here, you just click that little where is it? Oh, I've already added them. You just click the little star, add to list, and I'll do DYEB tracker, and there we go. And in the future, if you were to come back and like check your rankings, come back to your list, do this, and you'll probably have to reanalyze. These are relatively new. It only analyzed them like just now and then an hour ago. But you can actually redo these. You can uh, reanalyze. There you go. There it is. Analyze all the SERPs. You can do that like once a week, once a month, if you want to come in here. It'll use credits, of course, but there you go. So that's all I got. I will leave my affiliate link, of course, in the description below this video if you want to go try out Low Fruits, and I think you absolutely should if you're a new-ish blogger or in niche sites. Go check it out. I really love this tool. I really do. I can stand behind them. I love the layout. The design is great, and it works for what you want it to work for. It does. It's not all comprehensive and it doesn't have to be. Keywords, finding low hanging fruit, ranking opportunities, it's brilliant. I fully endorse it. There you go. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoy Low Fruits. Adios.